The semiconductor industry is playing a major role in every day's life, and it is expected to double in size by the end of this decade. We need to ensure that the industry has access to the right skilled engineers for the challenges ahead. This is why it is vital for the students of today to access the latest technologies from industry. ARM sits at the center of the semiconductor industry. It's estimated that 70% of the world population are touched by technologies based on ARM. We take this responsibility very seriously. We work very closely with the rest of the industry in order to equip the next generation of engineers with the skills that they need to succeed in the industry. To tackle the skills gap in our industry in a sustainable way, ARM set up the Semiconductor Education Alliance in summer 2023 to bring all of the stakeholders, be it in industry, government, educational institutions, so that we can pool in our resources, remove duplication, and tackle common problems at scale for the benefit of the whole industry. The number of members of the Alliance had nearly tripled in less than a year, to about 26 now, Part of our success criteria is to have representations from all of the major regions of the world. My name is Claire Lucas and I'm a Professor of Engineering, Teaching and Learning at King's College London. Our partnership with ARM is in response to the UK Semiconductor Strategy, which seeks to rapidly upscale the number and the skills of semiconductor engineers. Working with ARM, we are developing a multi-pronged approach to semiconductor education with access to that at different levels throughout people's careers. We're looking at postgraduate education, we're looking at continuous professional development, and we're looking at undergraduate education, all of which can come together to secure the future. As well as the technical skills required for the semiconductor industry, KCL and ARM are working together on a whole KSA framework. We have a PhD student who is looking at the non-technical skills taxonomy for engineers, these transversal skills will help people to become lifelong learners, ready for whatever the next technological challenge that the world has. My name is Chen Guang Ang. I am a Vice President of the Post and Telecommunications Institute of Technology, PTIT, and we play a leading role in the semiconductor workforce training in Vietnam. The expected number is at least 50,000 semiconductor IC engineers by the year 2030. We have collaborated with ARM on three projects. The first one is STEM education for middle and high schools. The second is university education for undergraduate students. And the third one is ARM academic access, aiming at successfully designing and tapping out an SOC based on ARM's CPU course we can hope for the next generation of engineers in Vietnam to succeed and thrive in the semiconductor industry. We are working across the board in order to develop detailed competency roles for key job roles in industry. These competency frameworks will feed into curricular standards that educational institutions and training organizations will develop uh, towards, hence ensuring graduates, apprentices, and trainees acquire the right skills for the right jobs in our industry. The Semiconductor Education Alliance is a federated effort. And although ARM set it up in summer 2023, it is open to any organization. As long as you share our mission of addressing the skills gap in the semiconductor industry globally, as long as you are prepared to bring in resources, to share it with the Alliance towards a common goal and you're welcome to join us.